Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading on the topic of your path to success. So just meditate on your questions that you might have about the future, about changes that you're wishing to make, about ways that you're thinking of doing things. And remember to not take this 100% seriously. Always take responsibility for your choices, your decisions, and hopefully this will help or guide you in some way. So uh, see which pile you feel drawn to and um, we'll see what comes next. So if you picked the pile with the Jasper, red Jasper, for some of you, um, your path to success is going to involve um, getting yourself in balance somehow. You need to get grounded. You need to have balance between your mental, emotional, physical and spiritual being your essence. You need to really allow yourself to get connected with who you're, you are at every level. You also need to feel protected against um, harm or attack because there is a sense of there being some vulnerability within you, what you perceive to be a frailty within you. But I also feel that this, what you perceive to be frailty is actually one of your greatest gifts because you have a great deal of sensitivity and that's why it's very easy for you to become ungrounded. Becoming grounded and becoming grounded on a regular basis, um, just doing some kind of exercise, whether it's meditation or whatever you do to stay grounded, that's going to be a big part of your key and your path to success. Okay. And then you'll allow yourself to have an abundant material reality. Whereas at the moment, for some of you who pick this pile, you're sort of up in the clouds a little bit, you know, um, not quite uh, ready to accept a healthy, abundant material reality. And that's, you know, one of the challenges you'll need to deal with. OK, so what cards have you got? You've got the Queen of Ariel, which is perfect. <laughs> Isn't it interesting that that came with the... Um, card about grounding material reality the queen of pentacles she knows how to look after herself she knows how to enjoy a comfortable physical reality she knows how to indulge she knows about deep self-care she knows about abundance even opulence and doesn't see a difference between those things and a spiritual life. So this is going to be a really important thing for you to understand. The more grounded you become, the more ready you'll be to let those good things in. Because being ungrounded, having a blocked uh, base chakra, all of those things mean that we can't allow ourselves to ever feel safe in the physical reality. There's always something wrong, whether it's to do with a house situation or a job situation or a, a bills situation. So very, very important for you. Right, OK. Your jazz card. <laughs> this is my new thing. You've got Duke Ellington. Um, you've got allow flow and synchronicity into your life. You've got the silence. You've got a new dawn. Wonderful. You've got divine magic. Yes. Fertility. Oh, my God. So much going on here. You've got the third eye chakra. Great. You've got brilliant... You've got a brilliant idea up your sleeve. You've got brilliant, brilliant things going on in your consciousness that just need to come out into the world. And, oh, wow, you've got career transition as well. Right, let's go to Duke Ellington first of all. Duke Ellington named Duke because of his very... Um, uh, gentlemanly ways. He was a man with great elegance and style and good taste. Um, but he was brought up in a, he was a band leader, leader of an orchestra, a great composer, um, songwriter, musician, everything. And um, he was brought up in a family that nurtured his gifts, a family that influenced him as well. His parents were musicians. He had every support and advantage that you could think of to help him to hone his gift, to bring his gifts to the world and to stay focused on that path. So look around you, look at your life, look at your upbringing. You may not have directly had that kind of upbringing, but it could be the case that there are clues in your upbringing showing you who you were always meant to be. Or it could be a sign that you need to go back to thinking about and remembering 
what you wanted to be when you were very young because you've also got allow flow and synchronicity into your life so there's a part of you that has forgotten how to just relax and be yourself I know that sounds crazy but that's going to be really important for you to get grounded to relax be yourself and look at your life and where it's been leading you there are clues and signs and synchronicities in your life that are shouting out loudly this is who you came here to be you knew it at one point remember it now go back to that you've also got the silence here which is telling me that you might need to meditate you need you might need to because we said you need to connect with yourself again wow it, I just felt that really powerfully that actually all the physical external things are in place and happening around you they are there as potentials um, the only thing that really stands between you and what you want is this feeling of disconnection, this feeling of a reluctance to get quiet and, and get in touch with yourself. Sorry about the camera moving around. <laughs> okay. And when you do that, you're going to start to see the answers. You're going to start to see the ways forward, the path to your success. Okay. And if you have to start your own orchestra, your own company, your own movement, even to make things happen, then that's what you have to do. Okay. Because your key to success is being in a position where you can fully be yourself and be connected with your true self without apology. OK, um, the career transition that you're going through at the moment or that you will be going through at some point um, is necessary for you to get onto the right path. And I see this very much as a transition rather than a sudden rash um, unwise move, don't do anything rash, but recognise that you, things are gradually moving you into a better direction. You could have some psychic gifts because we've got the third eye chakra, which is very much alive and alert and awake and looking for answers. So it could just be that you're searching a lot and that in your searching, you've begun to develop more awareness, more, more um, ability to, to see um, beyond the physical because you've felt the need to do that just to find out what the heck's going on. So a part of your path to success is also honing, developing and honing your ability to see into yourself, to see inwardly, but also to see into those hidden realities, the non-physical realities, and then being able to use your psychic gifts maybe to help others, and but also to just allow yourself to be guided to let go of the control let go of the reins and and that flow and synchronicity card is a reminder that maybe you hold on too tightly sometimes you get a very rigid idea into your head about how it's going to work out how it's going to be and you don't always allow for the flow of inspiration to come in the kind of inspiration that might say to you well okay that didn't work and that didn't work and that didn't work but it's not because you're not supposed to do this it's because you haven't found the right way yet maybe you do need to start your own orchestra or your own movement or your own town or village or whatever it is whatever you need to you know what this is saying is whatever you need to do to get the job done that's what you need to do to fulfill the purpose that you came to this earth to fulfill and the signs are all there around you for some of you, it is actually music. I know I've, I've, I'm experimenting with these jazz cards and there will be one in each reading, but I feel quite strongly that, you know, with the Duke Ellington card, it, you know, because his whole life was about music. It was what he lived for. It was what he was known for. It was what he'll be remembered for. He actually said those words just before he died. <laughs> you know, music was everything to me. It's, it's, it's what I'm about. F whatever that thing is that you are about, that you are actually currently denying to yourself, whatever it is that makes you come alive with absolute joy, you are absolutely pregnant with it. Some of you will know that you're pregnant <laughs> right now. Some of you will just be in the very early stages and some of you haven't taken the test yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just the way it's kind of coming to me you need to you need to really focus on nurturing that gift so that it can come to full term and you can birth it and give it to the world okay let the world then decide what to make of it yes don't hold it back anymore 
that is your path to success, to connect with your gifts, whether they're creative gifts, inspirational, psychic and healing gifts, whether they are technical gifts to do with creating things, inventions, whether they are business gifts to do with startups, whether they are to do with um, charity and understanding, uh, you know, um, how to how to make changes in the world, whether they're environmental uh, awareness gifts and the gift of bringing people together whether that you know you're a party organizer whether you do hair beauty makeup fashion whatever your gifts are there is a sense that you've always known because you've always had this love you've always had this passion this isn't a new thing where you have to sit down and think hmm I wonder what I should be doing with my life to dumpty dumpty dum it's more a question of you've always known it but you sometimes deny it or you've lost sense of it recently for some reason or other and you know you might find that you've had a tricky time with career recently because your higher self is trying to just direct you back very subtly very gently back to those places people and things that will be a part of your real life if you like so that's your key to your success be yourself start a movement be you that's really you know and, and takes us right back to where we started which is about integration integrating your whole self yes mind body spirit soul your physical existence needs to be a channel a vessel through which your creativity your heart and your spirit can flow not something not a part of yourself that you deny if you have desires you know if you have those wishes and dreams to, to go out there and tap dance on a roof or whatever those are there for a reason let the divine move through those desires okay and enjoy yourself let it flow okay that's it for that group let me know your comments below. Let me know how that resonated for you. I always love to read your comments. Thank you so much. Okay, okay so bye. if you pick the rose quartz. So for this group, I feel there's going to be something about love, union, um, some way that uh, love actually plays a part in or has an impact on your journey forward, your path to success. Now, it could be that you are a divine being of love and you recognize that consciously. We all, we're all divine beings of love, but it could be that that's a part of your, your mission, that that's a part of your path to success, if you like, that you embody love at that higher frequency and you are able to channel love into the world. It could also be that through a divine partnership a loving partnership you express your greatest sense of mission and vision so you know a twin flame connection that you you come together to bring something wonderful to the world you, you know there's a divine pairing a coupling that needs to happen for you to actually create your best work and to actually do that with someone else who's of the same mind and frequency and the same desires as well for some of you it will actually be some kind of a business connected to bringing people together in a spirit of love whether that's actually a dating thing you know a traditional love partnering thing or whether it's just bringing people together to experience a collective form of love and or remind them of unconditional love or bring them back to self-love so there's something in your journey in which love is a very part, important part of the equation, okay? It could be that you're a healer. It could be that you help people to release things, blocks and barriers from the past, and that brings them back to love, that state of pure divine love. Because remember, we are all divine love cloaked in flesh, aren't we? Okay, so let's see what your cards say. King of Michael, King of Swords, um, you've got Charlie Parker, wow, your jazz card is Charlie Parker, so you have to innovate, whatever you do you have to innovate and be persistent, wow, those two cards together are already blowing my mind, okay, perspective, um, mother healing, interesting, you've got rest, authority, gosh this is intense, spiritual, <laughs> what have you been doing, spiritual strength, you've come here on a mission, you've come here on a mission, it's been, it's been intense hasn't it, wow, it's been intense, okay, but you're determined to succeed and you will, passion, wonderful, okay, I want to read that one first, trust the passion, trust the passion, okay, trust what you really really feel in your heart,
Your heart has the secret to your success. Your heart, your ability to love, whatever it is that you do in the world that brings love, it's that simple, that's all there is to it. But you have a couple of very powerful energies here that do concern me. This mother and this authority thing, to me they look a little bit like parent healing that needs to happen. Okay, so that's another part of your path to success. I feel for some of you, it's real healing in the physical sense so you know how there's many times we just have to heal this stuff within ourselves and we move on i feel for some of you there's actually going to be a conversation that happens with your mother at some point <coughs> excuse me yeah when i start coughing i know i'm releasing negative energy so there is some kind of vibration for some people who chose this group that uh, where you've experienced uh, overburdened, felt, felt overburdened or possibly dominated or something by that sort of energy. It might not be a mother, it could just be um, that female energy or consciousness or an older female relative of some description or, you know, a teacher, a female teacher or it could just be that that energy within you needs to be healed you know, criticism towards yourself as a mother, criticism towards your mother, whether it's justified or not, whatever it is, sorry about moving the table so much, that and this father energy, this authoritarian energy, this isn't always a father energy, but because I've got these both here, that's kind of what it feels like to me in this reading. I feel for some of you, you've had to use a tremendous amount of spiritual strength to get over some things that have happened to you in the past, or barriers, hindrances, challenges, you know, maybe even for some of you in your family, some kind of addictions, some kind of obstacles that have allowed you to grow and develop as a person and develop something extraordinary within yourself. And that is the key to your success. So, you know, we've got We've got Charlie Parker, a man who was an innovator, a man who created an entire musical movement and a man who also suffered a great deal with addictions, with all kinds of um, obstacles and barriers that, that could have stopped a, a, a lesser mortal from progressing in any way whatsoever. But he triumphed. He used all of it to become something great, something transcendent, something beyond which we have not been able to look again in terms of that genre of music, something everyone's still chasing. <laughs> so, you know, there is something that you have learnt in this lifetime that you've developed and crafted into a fine art, a fine skill, as a result of or in spite of a great deal of adversity and that is the perspective that your guides want you to take right now to let go of the past let go of the hurt let go of the resentment and the disappointment and anything else it's none of that is real what's real now is this divine spark that has emerged as a result of all those things because you're ready to take flight with your creative gifts, with your passions, or with your healing gifts, with whatever it is that you have to offer the world, you're ready to take flight. I actually feel for some of you, just looking at the whole intensity of it and this rest card, I feel for some of you that there might be a, a need for you to take a little bit of a time out. Because you've also got the King of Swords here who, you know, he can be very ambitious, he can be very clear thinking, he can also be very sharp tongued, very sharp with his words. And the way that I'm seeing, seeing that over, you know, on, on the top row and then this authority card here, they seem to be sort of connecting with each other. And then you've got you hiding away, wanting to co cocoon yourself here. I feel that it's quite possible that there's been an echo of this energy that showed itself up in a relationship of some kind, you know, whether it's an intimate relationship or a friendship or a, a boss, a co-worker, a bullying kind of, um, ugh, I don't like the energy that I'm getting from that. And I feel that for some of you, there's a need to give yourself a little bit of rest, a rest period a little bit of a rest before you launch into, you know, it's like there's a rest between all the trauma and the drama and realising the gift that you've um, uncovered, that you've created, that you've honed, that you've developed in all of the madness. 
So in order for you to get onto the best, most exciting, amazing part of your life, you need to have the energy to take flight. You know, look at this. We've got rest. We've got this authority thing still kind of lingering possibly. Possibly some of you are still detangling yourself gradually, slowly, a little bit of subterfuge, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, hiding out there, staying overnight here, you know, talking about this to this person, planning this to that person. Some of you are in a toxic relationship that you're trying to get out of at the moment. You're having to be stealthy about it, but it's exhausting. I feel for some of you, you're absolutely exhausted. And that's why you've got the rest card coming up here. And then you come through this, like you, it's like you fling open the prison doors and you walk through, walk right past that person. And you realise, actually, I've got, I've got a lot more authority than I thought I did, than I thought I had. I have got spiritual strength. Spiritual strength, you know, rock, paper, scissors, spiritual strength <laughs> tops authority any day. It does. Because spiritual strength is what gives us our true authority. Just let that sink in for a minute. Okay, then you get to spread your wings and then you get to live from your passion. And all of the other things get, uh, take their proper perspective, take on their proper perspective and you're able to forgive and look back and think, okay, well, that was that was horrible, but I see the gift of it now. I understand it now. I understand. I understand you did the best you could with what you had. And I understand now that it's up to me what I make of my life from this point onwards. So be persistent, okay? Be persistent is the overall message. Be persistent. You do have something special to share with the world. You do have something that's worth pursuing, okay? You have become this extraordinarily, gif extraordinarily gifted being. You do have that and no one can take that away from you. Nothing can take that away. That's yours now. You get that for keepsies, okay? But just have a little bit of a rest and refine and redefine your goals. And yeah, just, just you know, go for it. Start, start a whole new movement. Okay, that's it for group two. These are all quite intense. I hope you're enjoying them. Let me know. Um, post your comments below and let me know how they resonated. And um, I wish you all the very best and great, great, great success bringing your message to the world. Okay. If you chose group three, the Queen of Venturine. For this group, your key to success, your path to success is going to involve you connecting with your heart, getting to a place of self-love, getting to a place where you can appreciate that you deserve abundance, healing the parts of you that tell you you don't, that tell you that you always have to be in lack always have to be struggling in order to be a worthwhile person. You can never be lucky, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of all of that thinking. You're going to have to heal something very deep within yourself so that you can allow yourself to be lucky. I just heard lucky again. I feel for some of you, you may have been lucky in the past or felt lucky. And maybe you feel that luck was taken away from you or something changed it or... Um, You've, you've compromised. Oops, sorry, just checking to see if the camera's <laughs> still on. I've been doing a lot of talking, but I make sure it's actually being recorded. Yes, so for some of you, it's actually going to be a question of recapturing your, your original spirit, your innocence about being lucky, being able to attract good fortune, being somebody who's worthy of good, good fortune. And remember, you know, Sometimes the harder we work, the luckier we get. The more we do, the more we can actually um, attract and generate new experiences and opportunities, okay? That's that. Let's see what the cards say. What cards you've got? You've got two of Gabriel. Your jazz card is Billy Holiday. <laughs> you've got um, connect with your deepest inner knowing. You've got flight and helpful person. Great, you've got soulmate relationship, victory and success, awareness and courage and victory. Wow, oh my gosh. <gasps> victory and success and victory and courage. Wonderful. And a soulmate relationship. Okay, this is exciting. So this, this is a wonderful, wonderful spread. So let me just talk very quickly about the Billie Holiday card. 
I feel that that is all about staying in your heart, staying in touch with your vulnerability, allowing your vulnerability to, to come out in your work. Wow. Yeah, that's it really. Allowing your your vulnerability to connect with other people who feel vulnerable or just to connect with allow your humanity to connect with the humanity of others and just be yourself be bold be daring be brave enough to just be yourself that's the courage that you need to just be yourself ain't nobody's business if you do yeah just be yourself and and don't care what anyone else thinks because ultimately you know we're not always aware at the time that we're doing the things that we do that involve being ourselves. We're not aware of the impact those things are having on others. We're just uh, us. We're just ourselves. We don't always understand the unique space that we occupy and the unique gift and preciousness that we bring to the world as we inhabit that space. So trust yourself, trust who you are, have the courage of your convictions and you will take flight. That feels like a really important part of your message. But also I'm thinking about the adventuring again and connecting to Billie Holiday and, you know, she achieved success, but she quite often sabotaged it. She achieved success, but she quite often fell by the wayside or gave her power away to um, destructive relationships. Um, and it takes me back to this where we said at the beginning, you know, trust that you deserve good things. Trust that good things can come to you and that it's okay for you to be lucky, to be fortunate and to then enjoy your good fortune. OK, because that's the that would be the reverse of that card being too vulnerable, falling into victimhood. OK, so connect with your deepest inner knowing about who you are, what you came here to do and what you want to do. Um, in order to be successful and allow yourself to be vulnerable. Um, in other words, don't cover up who you are when you express yourself in your work. If you talk, if you counsel people, for example, if you do um, healings or readings and, and people ask you, you know, about the things that you've been through, you're not a psychotherapist. You don't have to be all, you know, careful and, and confidential and, you know, have all these weird rules. You can occasionally share something if it's necessary. You don't have to be perfect to be a good teacher. That's the other thing my guides just said really strongly. You don't have to be perfect. Let people see the imperfections sometimes because sometimes that's what touches people and helps them to learn and grow because they see that we're all in it together. We're all the same. We're all going through stuff. Wow, that's powerful. Okay, so whether that comes out through your counselling work, your light work, your artistic work, your... Um, you know, your business, whatever it is, be real, be yourself, be an innovator, be, be different, be, have the courage to be yourself, you know, um, and even if that's the only way that you innovate, let that be what you do. Someone helpful. Um, this is really interesting because I'm a real advocate of, of people, you know, believing they can do it and going for it and trusting themselves and their journey. But sometimes you just get a spread that just says to you, you know what, it's okay to let someone help you and it's okay for that to be a partnership. It's not codependent, it's not, you know, it's none of those things, it's none of those weird things that you don't think, think you can do it on your own or any of that. But I feel for this group that a part of your key to success could very well involve partnering with someone very special, someone who is not just on a similar path in terms of their work, but someone whose heart's in the right place and who wants to connect with you on all levels, like a real soulmate, possibly a twin flame connection, but a real deep connection and a, a, that brings a real sense of mission. And you might find that something develops later on that becomes a connection because what I feel with this group is that you might find that your work brings you together, if you see what I mean. So it might not be that you're, um, you know, you might decide that you're looking for someone to collaborate with and that person could turn out to be the person you're supposed to you know, that you can really get on with, that you can you can be with in other ways. So, um, and that makes it just much more fun, much more exciting, and, and there's a synergy that comes, that you're able to do things with 
with both of you involved that wouldn't necessarily be open to either of you if you were working separately because you know when two people are gathered there is a, a greater energy than both of them present there's that person and that person and there's the magic that happens when those two people are combined you know like a sorry to sound like a chemist but uh, you know what I mean there's a synergy there's something exciting and we've got the two of Gabriel here we've got the two of wands so it's the two 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 everywhere you know collaboration helpfulness all of this so that is really exciting really exciting so the path to success for this group is really feels as if it involves a divine partnering of some kind or at the very least a great business relationship you know a great artistic collaboration that feels like a soulmate that doesn't necessarily become an intimate relationship or a loving relationship but that just you just feel really connected you just feel switched on to each other you have the same kinds of ideas the same philosophy the same way of presenting things the same thoughts the same you know offerings that you want to share or if you're musicians you know it's like maybe you're a singer and you find the perfect pianist or guitarist or whatever to collaborate with to work with maybe you're a songwriter and you're great with lyrics and you find uh, someone who's great with the music or maybe you you bake cakes and you find someone who's great at decorating them <laughs> you know you could be a designer and you find someone who's really good at taking photos of of designs your designs or you know who's a, who's a great model for your clothes or whatever there's a lot of energy about collaboration here and I also feel that for many of you this collaboration will actually bring you a great deal of awareness so it's very much a soulmate kundalini experience for some of you not everyone for some of you people will come to this reading and look at it from different levels different perspectives and wanting different things for some of you you'll have a great partnership at some point along your path and it's going to make all the difference and this awareness is to do with the synergy that that creates okay that wow we've got something magical something powerful here and that's it for some people this is going to be the divine awakening of totally coming onto your path with that divine counterpart that you agreed to do this work with before this incarnation who is possibly your twin who is here to ignite you to wake you up to just just come together in this incredible creative explosion of service and inspiration and this gift to humanity okay so and the overall energy i have to say if i had to think of one word it's victory it's victory because we've got it twice here so it's possible that for some of you, you've been looking for this for a long time and you've wondered whether you can actually achieve it and whether it actually makes sense and whether you're dreaming and whether it's, you know, whether it's OK to even want it. Some of you might have even seen this person or had a sense of them before. You might have had a dream about them. You might actually have already met them, but there have been all sorts of obstacles and challenges. You know, the typical twin flame journey. So, you know, you've kind of met got scared or and then both separated not seen each other for ages but you kind of feel like it's them and you know there's something else going on there you can't quite figure out what it is or say what it is or maybe you do know but they have no idea because they're kind of asleep um some of you know exactly who this is and some of the some of you don't yet some of you don't yet and that's great that's okay because it's further along your path it's not right now OK, but whatever happens, we've got this flight card over the card of this awareness opening up and this synergy. So literally, this is like on the path to your to ascension, the path to ascension somewhere along that journey. We know we meet that twin flame energy. We come together in this explosion of love and divine service and we take flight. We take flight and we explore dimensions together and we, you know, we grow and develop even more and and the gifts that we came to offer to the world they're not just as they would be if it was one or the other they become something greater because of the combination of the two i feel like i'm repeating myself now but um i hope you enjoyed that message um you already know all of this 
you've got connect to your deepest inner knowing you already know all of this be vulnerable around this connection as well if for some of you who have seen this person connected met, met them and then the communication just goes to you know <laughs> goes horribly wrong and it just doesn't happen and you don't know what to say or how to explain what's been happening in your life or why you you know all of that when you do meet this person again just be vulnerable be yourself I don't mean be a, a Billy Holiday you know don't get into one of those relationships but open your heart to this person and tell them just tell them what you've been what's been happening with you why stuff has happened how you feel be yourself be yourself be yourself because this spread actually ironically more than the rose quartz <laughs> spread in a way this is all about love and if you can't open your heart and be yourself in love then how can you know you're really loving who does the other person think they're loving how do they know that they're loving you if if you're not being yourself i hope that makes sense you have a chance um you know an opportunity for something really beautiful so yeah just open your heart keep your heart open and speak from your heart okay that's it Aventurine, Green Aventurine group. I hope you enjoyed it. Please post your comments and let me know how that resonated for you and I wish you all the very best success in the future. Bye.